So in this question, we've been asked to find the HCF, the highest common factor, and the LCM, the lowest common multiple, of 300 and 880. Um, in some questions, you might also see uh, GCD rather than HCF. GCD meaning greatest common divisor. It's the same thing. Okay. Um, in order to do this, we're going to start by finding the prime factorization of each number. Now, there's a separate uh, YouTube video on this channel for how to calculate a prime factorization. So I'm not going to go through that now. Um, but essentially, we can write each of these numbers as a product of prime numbers. And if you did that by looking at our other video, you'd find that 300 equals 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 times 5. And 880 equals... 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 5 times 11. Okay, and once you've got this prime factorization, there's a few ways you can work out the HCF and the LCM. Uh, I'm going to look at a Venn diagram method. Um, so we're going to put these numbers into a Venn diagram. So let's start by drawing our Venn diagram. We're going to draw two circles, or circles ish. Um, and this left-hand circle is going to represent 300, and the right-hand circle is going to represent 880. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to look at our prime factorization, and we're going to put these numbers into the Venn diagram. So if there's a number that's in both 300 and 880, it's going to go in the middle. So let's see, there's a 2 in 300 and a 2 in 880, so we're going to put that, let's scrub it out, we're going to scrub that one out, and we're going to put one 2 in the middle. There's another 2 in 300 and in 880, going to put another 2 in the middle. There's no more 2s in 300, so these 2s from 880 can each go into the 880 section. Uh, there's a 3 from 300 that's not in 880, so we can put that 3 in the 300 section. Now we have a 5 in both, so we can put one 5 in the middle. Now we're left with another 5 in the 300 section and an 11 in the 880 section. Now, if we've done this right, let's look. The 300 section should have 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 times 5, correct. The 880 section should have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 5 times 11, correct, which is the same prime factorization as we have. Now, to find the HCF and the LCM, it's pretty easy. The HCF is just the numbers in the middle multiplied together. So it's just, uh, let's do the numbers in the middle. It's just these numbers in the middle multiplied together. So the HCF is 2 times 2 times 5, which is uh, 20. And then the LCM is everything in the whole Venn diagram multiplied together. Let's try that. LCM equals 3 times 5 times 2 times 2 times 5 times 2 times 2 times 11, which is uh, 13,200. And that's it. And we can check briefly. The HCF 20 should be a factor of both 300 and 880. Yeah, 20 goes into 300 and 20 goes into 880. And the LCM should be a multiple of both 300 and 880. Yes, it is. 300 divides exactly into 13,200. 880 divides in exactly into 13,200. So that's a good sign. Um, actually, there's a clever trick to finish off that's uh, sometimes useful to know. Um, the two numbers multiplied together. So 300 times 880 is, well, let's work out what that is. That's 264,000. And that is actually equal to the HCF times the LCM. So that's a good check at the end. If that doesn't work out for you, then you've probably made a mistake.